Okay, this is a quick YouTube tutorial just to show you how easy it can be to make 3D floors in Ultimate Doom Builder without having to worry about control sectors at all. It'll manage all of that sort of thing for you. Um, and all that will seem like arcane, old-fashioned black magic once you know this. So, first thing to know is that it can manage the control sectors for you. If I go into 3D floor mode, the first thing you see is this green box just pops up right in the middle of the map. Now that is the area it's going to use to create the, the control sectors for you. Right now it's not going to be able to create any control sectors, they're in the middle of the map, so I'm just going to, I can right click and drag and move that around. I can also, with the right mouse button, resize that. So I can just move it way off the map and that's normally what I do. Um, so that's the first thing, understanding the space that it uses. Second thing is just how easy this is going to be. So I'm just going to draw something there, a uh, sector there, and I'm going to go into 3D floor mode, already was. I'm just going to right click on that sector. Uh, dialog pops up, just add 3D floor. So right now that's created something height 28, 128, starting at zero. So that's actually starting at the ground level. If I want to be able to edit this in visual mode, I'm just going to move it off the ground level a bit. Okay. What that's done, for those of you who are used to your control sectors, it's created that for me right there. And if I now go into visual mode, here we are. Here is our 3D floor. I can change the height. I can if I go into slope handles, vertical slope uh, slope handles mode. I can select that slope 3D floor. I understand that that is quite difficult uh, sometimes. Um, if you have to worry about all your control sectors for things like this, um, old fashioned ways are a lot more complicated. It's a lot more simple now with the, the new tools. I could select multiple of those at once, for example, if I wanted to get really crazy. Um, and that's pretty much it for the basic 3D floor making. The only other thing that I really want to show here is if I want different slopes or different textures. If I texture this one, um, anything. So I've got that marble texture there. If I wanted, sake of argument, to split that into two sectors and say I wanted to texture that part differently, you notice how it's done everything. So what you need to do for this is back into 3D floor sector mode, select that, right click and detach and that just essentially turns it into a whole new 3D floor. It's created a whole sector over here referencing that. And then I have two separate 3D floors that I can separately texture. Finally, say I have, I just want to make it show the difference between that, one thing that confused me at first, I select all three of these, 3D floor mode, right click, so I can see this 3D floor is split over three sectors. If I press split, that's now three 3D floors in 3D. So there's a difference between detach and split. Detach just detaches one or a whole chunk. Split will split an existing floor across the different sectors. So now I have multiple 3D floors. I've made something really messy here, but you might want to do something so a better example of why I might do some things like this uh, would be, say I have a 3D floor here, a 3D floor, I'm going to move that off the bottom, put it up there somewhere, and now I'm going to Split this up a little bit. Um, let's say, right, yep, like that. I'm going to 
split. So then I have three separate 3D floors. Now I'm going to tilt these two down a bit. And let's get a bit crazier. Um, now I'm going to grab everything here, right click in 3D floor mode, and I'm going to down here is split all. So that takes all of these, and that's just created a whole load of control sectors for me over there for each of those separate sectors. So now. So I want to do something like this. Boom. One trick here, as you can see with the slopes here, the way it stretches these. Um, one reason I, one way I might do this is, so these are, I think, width 64. So if I wanted, say, a 64 border, I don't know, that's not very good contrast. Ugly textures. Um, let me choose something that's obviously a there we go. So now if I wanted to use that as a excuse me, there we go, slope handle picking. This is nicely going to stretch them down for me. And then all still be so yeah that's basically what I wanted to show you um, 3d floors can be really easy finally um, multi-layered 3d floors if you want to get really crazy um, it's not even that crazy that's the thing back in the 3d floor mode I'm going to right click on this there's one there there's a little add 3d floor button here move that off the bottom Oof. second 3D floor and I haven't had to look at control sectors once for this um, all those control sectors managed off map um, they don't have to be you don't have to manage the shape you never have to touch them um, yep go nuts it's really that easy